Did you ever forget to say thank you? Remember how we teach our children to say thank you for everything when grandma and grandpa gives them a gift, when they receive something, when uh, when they just have a special blessing, say thank you, tell them thank you. These are lessons we learn early in life, and yet, even as adults, we so often forget to say thank you. There's a story in the life of Jesus when he one day came across 10 men who were inflicted with a horrible skin disease called leprosy. And uh, they asked for healing, and Jesus instructed them to go to the priest and demonstrate to the priest that they had been healed. And as they went, they were healed. And we read in that story that only one of those ten actually came back with gratitude to Jesus to express his appreciation. And that one individual happened to be a Samaritan. Who were, the Samaritans were often despised uh, by the Jews in the first century. So this story has a, a double sort of punch to it. But this Samaritan who had been healed of leprosy came back to Jesus and uh, was grateful and gave praise to God. And Jesus said in that context in Luke chapter 17, verse 17, were not all 10 cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner, except this Samaritan? And so Jesus expresses a sort of wonder, a sort of surprise, maybe even disappointment that, that not more of them had thought to give thanks to him, to give praise really to God for this great act of healing. And it makes me think about ourselves. I wonder how often we have forgotten to say thank you to God for the many good things. In fact, God gives us so many blessings, we, we really can't even uh, catalog them all. So we tend to not express our thankfulness for all the little things along the way, the great things that he does for us. We, we should pause uh, regularly to thank God for our salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. If you've accepted Christ as your Savior, uh, you have received eternal life, something to be grateful for. And we could thank God every day for that, that wonderful gift. But even for the little gifts along the way, the gift of family and friends and food and shelter and the, the basics of life that God gives to us, the thankfulness for a church family where we can worship and grow together, uh, thankfulness for a country in which we have freedoms. I mean, the list just simply goes on and on. And there's so many good things that we so often forget to give thanks. So let me encourage you that uh, together we'll give thanks to Jesus Christ. And uh, we will look forward to doing that every day for the many good gifts he gives to us. Thank you for taking time today to share with me in this pastoral visit.